Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve an interview question which they ask you in Java interview. Count occurrences of string in array or list. So let's start. This is the uh, uh, interview question. This, given this array, you need to count occurrences of strings in this array. So uh, count cat. So count occurs one and two times in this array. So that's why cat equal to two. Dog occurs two times. So dog equal to two. And tiger occurs only once. So tiger equal to one. Okay. So given this input, you should expect this output. We will be solving this program using array. But if you want to do this using array list, uh, just change this to array list. It's just different way of uh, iterating. And if you face issues while doing it, pro doing this program using array list, please let us know in comment section and we'll help you out. Okay. So let's start. This is your input array, and what I'll do is we'll create a map. And this map will store string keys. So your array, array element will be the string. And uh, the key of the string, uh, will the value of this key will be integer. OK, because you want to store the count of the string uh, here in uh, as a value of this OK, and we'll use the same uh, generic syntax to create a hash map object. You need to create a hash map object because map is an interface and you cannot create object of map. That's why hash map. OK, uh, and I guess it is showing some error. So I want to import map before I use it. OK, see the map is imported. Now uh, let's iterate over uh, the array. So write a for loop. I'll use for each syntax for this one. Input array. And uh, when you use for each, it will return a string in every iteration. OK, and for this string, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, say map dot gate and to this gate method, I'll pass the string in array. Now for the first iteration, uh, uh, since map is empty, uh, the program will not be able to find uh, the string in this map. Uh, and we'll get the null value. But let's create a variable for this. This is my count. Okay. I don't want to make it final. Now, if this count is null, that means uh, Java could not find uh, uh, this string in the map. Uh, so you would like to put that entry in the map put and here instead of count we'll say one because it has occurred once right else if you're going to else loop else condition that means uh, count is not null there is some value either one or two or three something like that so uh, what you need to do is map dot put string and now this time say count only and before uh, inserting this count you need to increment the value okay so at the end of this for loop you'll get the map and finally you need to print this map so to print this map say map I need to get all, get all the keys of this map first. There is a method key set. Okay. I'll 
create a variable for this I'm using the shortcuts uh, and if you want to uh, use the similar shortcut uh, we have a, a very good tutorial on Eclipse shortcuts and we'll be mentioning the link of that uh, uh, video in the description of this video so please go through that alright so you have a key set and then I'll use again for each to iterate over key set and this will return me strings again for every iteration and for uh, every string I'll say SYSOUT system dot out and control space okay system dot out dot print ln and here uh, I'll say str and then I'll say plus here I'll put equal sign and then I'll say plus and then uh, map dot gate to this map I'll pass str so that I'll get the count of the string here okay we'll save this program and now I'm going to run it using control f11 and let's see cat equal to 2 tiger equal to 1 and dog is 2 okay so this runs your program I'm going to debug it in case you do not understand so I let me add debug pointer using control shift b okay and here uh, let's uh, uh, if I want to run this program in debug just press F11 and then to uh, run it step by step uh, press F6 here the map is created and it's empty you can see and now I'm going through this uh, array so first string is cat and string uh, cat's occurrence in this uh, map is null because it's the first iteration right and since count is null we are going to put cat equal to 1 else it won't go in else for next iteration I'll get dog again count is null because this is the first occurrence of dog and we are saying dog equal to 1 okay now next iteration I am getting dog again and the count is 1 this time it's not null so it will go in else and you're going to say count plus plus okay so 1 plus 1 equal to 2 uh, and since see uh, map inside map we have incremented the count of dog similarly we do it for next iteration now we have tiger and uh, see you can see tiger is here and for tiger count is null and since it is the first occurrence we'll put map uh, tiger equal to 1 inside map uh, in next iteration I'll get cat again and for cat count is 1 since count is not equal to null it will go in else and we'll increment count and store it in the map okay so our map is ready and here we are simply getting the key set okay so it will return all the keys of the map uh, so cat tiger and dog and uh, for every iteration uh, we'll get one string here so first iteration is cat uh, and for cat we are printing uh, cat equal to and then when you say map dot get str it will give you the count of cat which is 2 here it prints cat 2 cat equal to 2 similarly tiger equal to 1 and dog equal to 2 all right friends let us know if this video helped you in comment section and subscribe to this channel because it helps us to grow on youtube uh, like this video and we'll it will, it will get inspired by you uh, and to make some more videos for you and put your thoughts in comment section if you face any difficulties understanding on executing uh, this program or if you are, if you face any interview question that you could not solve let us know in comment section and we will try to help you out thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye